Good morning, everyone. It's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library, and we are going to do a simple uh, tea bag fold, which way back was done with actual tea bags, the not the tea bag, but the packaging that the tea bag came in. Uh, but I'm using uh, just some paper that I made. This was a uh, toothpick drop. Um, paper. But uh, anyways, yes. So you need uh, squares, uh, three by three, two by two, uh, whatever. These are three by three squares. I have eight. And I'm going to fold them all um, on the diagonal with the paper, with the printing inside. I'm going to fold both sides on the diagonal. Then I'm going to open it up, flip, and do the flat squares with the printing on the outside, like that. Repeat that for all of them. We're doing all the folds in this order so that the mountains and valleys come out in the right direction. That will make folding everything together for our tea bag um, thing. Can't think of what it's called. Our tea bag structure. Uh, so that they all come out right. Yeah, so uh, printing on the inside for the diagonals on this particular fold. Flip it, do the square folds on with the printing on the outside for all eight. Now that I have them all folded, I am going to take the squares and I'm going to push the diagonals right in so that I get this shape. Okay, so it looks like this from the back, looks like this from the front. Do that for all of them. I'll repeat it again. Take the squares and I'm going to fold them right in. Square, fold in on the diagonal, square, fold in on the diagonal, like that, just like this, square, fold in, and square, and fold in. So there's my squares. All eight are done. Get yourself some glue. I love the Scotch Create Glue Stick by 3M. Now, I zoomed in so you can see this. So I'm going to make sure that all the folds are on one side. And I'm going to take the next one and with the, the point of the fold right there, I'm going to put just a little bit of glue right here on this one. And then I'm going to put this right inside like that. Okay, just like that. Then I'm going to turn it. And I'm gonna pull those folds just like that. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right there. Take the next one with my folds. And I'm going to put it right here in the center, right on that fold. Then I'm going to tuck that in there. Flip it. Glue. Points. Tuck it right there. Like that. Flip that one in there. Flip that over, flip that over, turn it, put this one down, glue. The fold and the point are right there. I'm gluing it right in the center, like that. 
Flip that one in. Flip that over. Glue. Point. Right in here. Like this. Flip it in. Flip that over. Flip that one over. Glue. Put this one here, like this. Flip that one in. Flip that one over. Flip that one. Glue, last one. And this is the one where we're gonna connect. So here we go, last one. I'm gonna glue that right in the center. I'm gonna glue there. I'm gonna go here. Oops, move it over. There we go. Flip. And then this one is gonna go right in there. Okay? So we have to lift it up. Glue that down. Glue that one in the center. Flip that and there. Okay, so there it is. So there is your beautiful structure. Wow, this looks really cool with this paper. I love it. Um, yeah, and if you want this to be a flat structure, then you can glue all these points down. And they make great bows, but if you don't want it to be a flat structure, you can use this for a bow. These are really fun to do. You can do it with all different papers. This is uh, photocopied on paper that I, on like photocopy paper, you can do it on origami paper or you can actually print off teabag fold paper. Happy creating.